when have we seen anything to that scale? We haven't. Exactly. I don't think. And also, here we go. Rich Brown, he is here today celebrating 7,000 followers on Twitter. Underscore Rich Brown. You should also definitely follow him. Follow me. Follow the guy next to me. Follow the guy running the stream. Yeah, definitely. We're um, pretty easy to find, I think. Alright, though, so Rich Brown versus S Twitch is likely going to be the Mewtwo versus the Meta Knight. I'd be surprised if it would be something else. I don't really, I haven't really seen Rich Brown pull out any other character. Yeah, I know we. I mean, I know. I know S Twitch has a Diddy. But yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Is we have a bit of a Diddy from S Twitch, but I'm not sure we're gonna see it, especially this far into bracket. Probably gonna stick with his comfort pick and man. Yeah. And there we go. We got the pinkish violet Meta Knight coming out. And we got Rich Brown for me too. Is Rich Brown really looking for his name? Okay. No. <laughs> way, is Rich Brown, are you really looking for your name now when you had all this no, time? No, they, they checked that it was in there. Like, you knew it was there. Okay, okay. All right, you're forgiven this time, Rich. <coughs> and there's Rich Brown with the giant gallon of water that you always see him with. Seriously, go to, go to any tournament that he's at. He, he'll always have, like, three or something. And we're going to lie left for our starter here. Interesting. How many times does that happen? That's three. not good. Really um, one, go! So going into game one, we have Meek to start out with the pivot down throw, but that's what he's answering back, looking like Vlog just approaching with this tornado. Now, Ed, uh, Ed Brown is playing it slowly, doesn't want to really do much aside from the Shao Bell, he doesn't want to approach Mana. He knows that Mana can't really do much, he's close to this ledge, he's not going to be susceptible to the ladder combos. Yeah, if, that's basically how you should be playing this matchup, it's definitely different because you're not, you're giving up a lot of stage control, but at the same time, you can't get these conversions, you don't have this little treadmill where you can run in and actually go underneath them to get the up airs. And Rich being really aggressive on these recoveries, trying to find these jumps from the ledge into an up air. Not quite working. I like how he's doing it to poke through the Lila, but it's not quite working either. They want to make it back to the stage, though. Okay, Rich Brown trying to catch him with the Nair. Not able to find anything. Gets caught there by the forward smash. Yeah, what's the spacing that was on that forward You know, he was just perfectly outside the down tilt and still had to get hit with the, uh, with the F smash. They're almost getting stuck. Great really perfect shield from s which doesn't find the shield on the second shot, by the way. Down throw, not able to follow up with anything. Forward throw, I like the mix up. Is he even trying to find a back air or something? Yeah, so he's just trying to keep the lead, not quite happening. Both the power shield's coming out. Yeah, I think uh, Rich Brown is very well. You can't really just sit at the lead when he has the percent. That's what he just willing to sit there and make uh, power shield these travel balls and paint the Rich Brown from there. Ooh, I like that back air. He saw that's 2 h Noticed that he was trying to be a little bit aggressive. I don't know what that drop down to jump was from Rich Brown. It just let him completely vulnerable to s 2 h without the attitude. Yeah, that's something I don't quite see as much as I would like to. You know, that was a great option from s 2 h going for that up the attitude. I hope that Rich Brown has nowhere to go. That was a really great pick from s 2 h on his option kit. With that upset, catching the switch, and then that's going to be 1% on Rich Brown. going to be able to bring it back to yeah. basically an even game right here. Going right back to the left, the S switch gain that back throw into the dash track. Here come the up is Oh, that was an extended lead right there. Rich Brown almost fell into it. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to base something out of it, maybe, or something, but he just air dodged right into it. If he missed his timing just a little bit, it might have been a little bit risky, but S2H has barely been hit and already put Rich, putting Rich Brown at 90%. Not without Rich Brown answering with a big combo, though. Yeah, and you know he wanted that up air to the forward air that any room combo that we've seen you two going for it. He's bailing this out in the up air, though. There. Not going to find anything else, though. Oh, just catching them with that dimensional cave. Not able to follow anything on that down throw though. But still, Rich Brown maintaining this control. SOH is having a hard time making it back to the stage right now. And now, for the ball online, Rich Brown is just going to get out. No tech there. SOH trying to get that. That's fine. Yeah, look where he landed with the back air, and that's why Rich Brown was in that tech situation. And had the right idea trying to follow up with the forward smash, but not quite able to find it. So, still there, I like it. Sends him off stage. Oh wow, 
pull back down to act intentionally teleport. You can see Green Snap immediately like she was just drifting up a little bit. Was the grab like but got down to it. Now Lisa and to neutral and switch just trying to find this one last hit. He knows that a grab will be dead for him. Good job. Get to these shadow balls. Interesting confusion there. Maybe he wanted to jump into it because he was on the platform trying to get a command grab. Not quite happening here. Still anyone's game. Interesting tornado, but Rich Brown doesn't punish it, but actually gets that pivot grab and is able to reverse that situation yeah. after a missed punish. Yeah, and that was um. <coughs> all right, then we're going to commercial. No, we're not. Going to but yeah, no, that was a really um, all or nothing play on that tornado. I feel like that was most certainly death if. You know, S or Rich Brown rather got that grab, but you know, great cross up from S2H. Unfortunately, he did get grabbed immediately after. Definitely a little bit too close for comfort there for either player, but definitely Rich Brown brought that back on the skin of his teeth. Here we go, game two, going to FD. S2H immediately not respecting any of Rich Brown's space. Able to go in and get a 30% combo. Let's see if you can try and finish it off here after this dash grab. Just combo it off the top, but actually just break two air dodge right out of that. Yeah, me too. After that, so really great air dodge. Really just came out of that situation. Near into the up tilt. Not gonna find follow up. Actually, or sorry, which round? I have find these off tilts. Definitely a lot of close quarters coming out from both of these players. There, not able to fall with anything. They're landing back air. They try to find the same situation from before to get the missed tech, but it's bound ready for it that time. Now she has a shadow ball. Not gonna be falling through that right now. I feel like the S2H is off stage. Then I go with the kill that says the recovery gets up. But I just need to leave. You two not gonna throw the shadow ball over. I like that timing mix up that Rich Brown was trying to do. He just held Shadow Ball for a little bit of a while longer, try to scare S2H or something, and then try to cover his options by doing a jump and then fading back, getting that up smash. Not able to quite execute any of them though, but I do like the idea of coming out from Rich here. Yeah, no, okay, up throw is gonna be it. Yeah, no, that was a great call out. Knew that S2H was looking to go behind him with that dimensional cape. He's gonna get the up throw. That's gonna be the stock one going Rich Brown. Down to continues. No, looks for an air dodge. Put that down to a person high. Oh, we tried a dimensional cave right in there, but not quite able to catch it. That was a lot of damage. Oh, there's Able to get a lot of damage. Rich Brown definitely stepping up here in the second game after it would look like really close. And that's just Rich Brown style. He definitely adapts and changes very much so. In the second game. Alright, and Twitch has this control right now. Looks for that back here on Twitch Brown's leg jump. Has to go high with that recovery, but S2 is not going to be able to find the punish. Isn't there? Not quite able to find anything else though. Oh, and <laughs> throughout that disable. He'll probably try to catch a landing or something, and he hasn't pulled it out at all this set, and. Rich That's Brown's just quite a lot of neutral is coming from there. But what an F smash going the other way even. Like you bet that tech got the F smash and then still set him the other way. He just blew up. He was not even in that blast anymore. But here we go. Big opportunity for S2H. Interesting dash attack. Went the wrong way. And it looks like Rich Brown knows he's in a bit of a comfortable position. Kind of, kind of throw out these attacks. Not really be in too much danger, but as I say it, here we go. Ladder to the top. Don't tell me oh that my was God, it, and dying. I was completely wrong. Rich Brown was not in a comfortable position to be throwing out smash attacks like that, and there we go. That was game two. Going to S2H. And look at his face. He's like saying to himself, no, nah, I should not have won that. Rich Brown was just getting careless there at the end. That was um Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that just happened. But here we go, game three. Yeah, that just happened to everybody. Alright, so going to game three, gonna be on Smashville now. Rich Brown got a little too comfortable, it seemed like on that last game. Going for all these neutrals, lost that game. That might have been partially my fault too, commentators first there. But Play here we go. At the end of the day, like, Rich, if you're watching this, just blame Seth Yeah, blame Seth that's all you have to do. 
Oh, interesting dash attack. I'm surprised he didn't go for the grab there. I thought he maybe would have recognized there was enough time for him to pull off the shield, but maybe it's a little bit off there. And again, Rich Brown did the same thing as before in the second game. Sticking back at the ledge, throwing out these shadow balls, trying to mix up how, or just trying to catch these mix ups that S2H is approaching with. Rich Brown throwing out a lot of options here at the ledge. S2H finally going to break it with that uh, short hop down. Yeah, okay, I think it was in there again. Am I able to find anything else though? Yeah, moves just staying as far away from S2H as possible. He knows that S2H can and will get that combo on him. When it really comes down to it, he's just trying to avoid staying away as much as he can. Yeah, it's a really good percent for S2H to try to actually get something. He's having a hard time actually getting this grab, though. Rich Brown's doing a phenomenal job just staying away from S2H. He's going to go for the back throw. Not enough to quite kick the stop without any rage. Maybe one more throw might be able to do it, but still, pretty much playing a big game of chicken right now. Use your jab, you don't see that too often, but Yeah, no, there I was go. more expecting to see like a jab into a grab, maybe get a little too fast, got the rapid jab instead. Yeah, if you press Z a little bit early after the single hit of jab, it does finish it off because Z is a, technically an attack button input. Yeah, it's actually kind of weird as um, how Z button works. Obviously, going to finish off that jab. Now that's a dangerous spot for the uh, for which round, but he's close enough to like landing is gonna be enough to get the stock off of less to it. Only 43%. Which round just playing his own game right now. Killed him. It looked like it was just some, was it, like a, it, it looked like a falling up air. Oh boy, that back hair. I thought that might have been death if Rich Brown did not <laughs> think fast enough of what was happening. Yeah, no, that was great reaction and awareness from Rich Brown just using that confusion to stall himself to able to recover. Okay, let's see if Rich Brown can try and get something going here. Just continuing to content to throw out these Shadow Balls and actually the four smash planks with whatever grab that SOH is trying to do there. This is kind of looking like SOH is game to lose, but at the same time, I mean, we saw what happened last time, anything can happen, folks. Something like that can happen very, very much so. With Rage, that actually almost killed him. Yeah, it looks like a pretty weird DI too. Up the out of shield, not quite happening. Immediately punishing it with that bear. Yeah, and another dimensional cape into center stage from S2H. That back air is going to be enough to do it. S2H still alive with Rage in this game. He Oh, I think this was the exact same scenario as being too. Yeah, so. Rich Brown has to play safely if he can't get too aggressive here. Yeah. It was, he, had one, he had one shot at that up smash from the Angel platform of invincibility, and he, now he's saying I'm done. No, we're not doing that again. <laughs> yeah, no, and I love um, I love S2H's patience, not just running into the shallow, waiting for the correct opportunity. Here we go, just continuing to play this game of chicken, forcing s to try and approach. I like that pivot F tilt. Oh my god, that could have been bad. That also could have been bad, but able to get out of that situation unscathed. Still going back to the other side of the stage, going with the shabo. Just lots of mini shabos here, making it impossible for s to try to play with them. You can see s to trying to make something happen here, but it's not... The, op the opening is just not showing itself right now. That was S2H's opportunity right there, but he was in lag from that attack. S2H, uh, Rich Brown throwing it the other way. Yeah, S2H is really having a hard time just finding the right approach on Rich Brown. I like how he's not getting random hits on Rich Brown, though. You know, he doesn't want to find a hit that can't lead him or anything, put Rich Brown out of the way. As soon as he's out of percent to get but that photo could be it. But yeah, as I was saying, I think we didn't want to get it. We're going to have to say we can't let him pop it anymore. Alrighty.